Okay, now we're gonna go on to the final bonus level, which is 50 gold bricks. And actually, I didn't turn my extras on because I'm a dummy. Actually, I don't want to turn the silhouettes on. Because half the time I can't tell what the hell character I'm playing. Do, 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 do. This is gonna help in the level because I can self-destruct everything. And build quicker. Quicker. Yay, as if I didn't have enough studs. So this is New Town! Um Let's get ghost heavy one in here. Now I'm gonna skip the title scroll because it's pretty much exactly the same thing as Lego City. And it's pretty much the same thing. However, it's kind of been rearranged, stuff has been moved, stuff has been added, yada yada. Basically, it's the same idea. Like, for instance, we have a boat here! The generic rules is the same as before, just build, destroy, kill everything. Like these ducks over here, for instance. He just like shoot out of his ass. And by the way, you also have to kill everything as well. Like the duckies, the stormtroopers, the gonk droids, everything. Actually, we need to switch characters to get to the boat. And this thing like steers really funny. So. So, get all the studs in here. Yeah, I actually recorded this earlier. But it kind of sucked. Thank god this thing is a giant hitbox, because it's kind of awkward to steer. Come on, only two more. Now, that's from my review of the game and everything. Um, obviously, this was obviously a really good, you know, pretty fun game. Um, it was disappointing that the PC version came out two years after the console versions. And then they changed some things, such as moving a few canisters, um, a lot of the true Jedi statuses, um, were different. Um, way, way too many glitches. Oh god, I can't describe the, the glitches. And it's not even so much like an installation or, you know, like an individual computer thing, because I can understand that PC versions are, I guess, in a matter of speaking, harder to make for. Uh, by the way, to kill the gunk charge, you have to force pull him into a wall or something. Shooting him won't work. But, um... Anyway, they're, they're kind of more difficult. Ouch. Oh, damn gunk rights. In the matter of, it's going on, you know, a ton of different types of hardware. It's like, yeah, you can have minimum requirements on there, but it's not its not going to be the same on every system. So obviously, you're going to get glitches because of that. And I self-destruct this guy. No, see? So I can understand a bit, but but a ton of them, there we go, are all, rela are all you know, like common glitches. And there's no excuse for that. Beta test the damn thing. Whoops, wrong button. Like, like at the time of this recording, I seriously cannot complete Super Story Episode Four because I keep getting that stupid glitch where the block, the block that you need to open the door, falls through the floor, and you cannot complete the level in Story Mode without it. Now, obviously, since there are things you can do to try to prevent the glitch from happening, but nothing I've tried consistently works. And even in regular story mode, you still have that problem. But it's a lot harder to complete Super Story because it takes like 45 minutes to even get up to that point, which is a massive pain in the ass. And I actually haven't made a good attempt in a while on that. I need a self-destructor here. So that was kind of annoying and pissed me off. Um, obviously the additions of the challenge modes were pretty cool, and I'm glad they got rid of the annoying, um, 
having to get True Jedi in story mode and free play like they did in LEGO Star Wars 2, that was just freaking annoying. Kill the Womp Rat. So I'm glad they got rid of that. Uh, what else? Uh, I, I kind of wish they had done more with updating um, Episode 1 to the newer stuff. Not Episode 1, I'm sorry, the, you know, the original trilogy. I mean, granted there were, there were some changes, like especially in the vehicle ones levels, but um, still, there, w there was too much of a distinction between the original trilogy and the prequel stuff. And that kind of hurt the game a bit. Like, obviously, I can understand in between the two individual games, yeah. Because you're gonna, you know... Because they're two separate games. But if you're gonna bring them together, it's like... They should have done more. Okay, no studs from that. But overall, like, they didn't do, like, a bad job or anything. I just kind of wish they had done more with it. And they should have. Especially with the PC version, considering it takes took so long for them to friggin' release it. No, other Vader, get out of the way. I'm gonna get only one in here so I don't force choke my own guy. <coughs> but overall, this this was, you know, a good fun game and everything like that. You know, it's good for, like, all ages. One thing I did notice, though, and I don't know if this exists in the console versions, but, like, what's the point of the adaptive difficulty on here? I mean, granted, I've always turned it off. Because basically what it does is, instead of losing 2,000 studs standard when you die, if you die frequently, you only die, uh, you only get 1,000 taken away, and if you don't die very frequently at all, you get 4,000 taken away instead. But every time I've been in free play, even without invincibility, which half the fun of invincibility was you didn't lose studs, what, you didn't lose any at all. And that kind of took away from some of the challenge here and made it almost too easy, so to speak. So that was kind of a bust. I mean, not that that's entirely a bad thing, but considering this game is not really that hard to begin with, except when it's glitchy, it, that felt kind of disappointing to me. Now here we got the, uh, the Lego bricks, but they're all in the wrong order! Well, we still gotta build them anyway first. No, no, no. Get that one the freak out of the way for- No! No! This one. Thank you. That's what I hate about the force targeting sometimes, especially when there's a lot of stuff close together. It makes it a pain in the freaking butt. Rutel, what are you doing? Hey! Oh. I'm sorry. Cat getting into things she shouldn't be getting into. Story of my life. Now, a ton of people have been asking me to do LEGO Star Wars 3. Uh, sorry to say, but that's not going to happen. At least any time in the foreseeable future. Um, for one, the game was just released. Like, less than a week ago at the time of this recording. Um, I've never actually played... Obviously, I haven't played it because of that reason. Now here you need two force users to fix this. There we go. What else? Um, and I've never actually seen any of the Clone Wars like episodes or anything like that, so I have... I, I'd be going into it, even if I um, played it before I LP'd it, which I would, if I ever LP it, I would pl actually play it for myself first. Um, I can't really have any input on there because it would be, you know, there's... I mean, obviously these are based on the movies, so that would be, you know, based on the episodes or anything. I have nothing to go on, so my commentary would kind of suck because I couldn't compare it to anything. Because I wouldn't even know what the hell I'd be comparing it to. And generally, I just don't think it would be very entertaining to me. And, um... Also, this is my third LEGO Star Wars LP. And each of them have gone on, like, 100 plus episodes. Um, literally 400 of my videos, and I'm not even at 1,000 at the time of this recording, are dedicated just to LEGO Star Wars. So I'm kind of LEGO Star Wars out right now. I mean, it's kind of sad that that many of my videos are dedicated to these. So I kind of, you know, want to move on to 
other things and whatnot. I mean, I'm not saying I will never ever do it, but there's I'm not gonna do it anywhere in the foreseeable future. So maybe one day, but right now, don't count on it. Okay, don't forget the the thingy in here. You don't wanna miss that. Ooh, car. And I think we can ride this one for studs too. Nope. Okay. So yeah, I know that's kind of a disappointment to a bunch of you people, but I've kind of had a monopoly on the LEGO Star Wars games, and I don't really follow to a T like the rules of LPing or anything like that. Like I don't think you need someone's permission to LP a game unless you know it's like a flash game or something they designed. Like personally, because I mean everyone has the right to review everything. But uh, I do kind of believe in the the three month rule, so to speak. So I think that's only right. It's like it's not a race to see who can LP something first. Can destroy these fences. Yeah, hopefully I actually finish this this time, because the first time I tried it, which the commentary ended up sucking anyway, I couldn't get all one million. One million. Yeah, don't forget to kill all these guys, you get stuck with that. You cannot blow up the stadium lights, though. Sad to say. You can't even turn them on for studs. But what you can do... is play with basketballs. And you do actually get studs that appear from the right for some reason for making a basket. So don't forget to do that. And don't forget to destroy the, the bus benches, even though there's not even a bus in here. So yeah, like I said, I kind of want to move on to, you know, other LP projects and going to do just more different things. Okay, this one's like planted then. Okay. No, I wanted to plant the friggin' flowers. There we go. And a whole ton of studs there. Sorry, Tauntaun. Okay, and you can actually get on a Tauntaun for some studs! I love Tauntauns, they're so cute. Okay. Now what you want to do here... Oh, damn it, I did it again. Yeah, don't jump into that. Leave your Tauntaun over there. Rotate this switch right here, which is going to bring this monorail car thingy over there. But it's going to move back on its own. So you need to get on the Tauntaun and just sit on the top of it. So unfortunately, you cannot ride this thing. And the electricity will kill you, so watch out for that. And you can actually ride the fire truck, which, like the boat, is a pain in the ass to steer. And I'm actually doing much better with this than I ever did the last time. Now, you can only drive it so far. Now what you want to do with the church here, is you want to build the steeple, and then force pull up to it, and scare that, it, the walkthrough says it's a bird, it looks more like a squirrel to me, and you can put, no, you can put the lighter back on the fire truck. And you can actually pull the lever to ring the bell. Now there's 18 flowers around the church here. Flag. So make sure you plant them all. Uh, a couple of them by the door here. There's nothing inside the church, so once you open the door, you don't need to do anything else besides get yourself out of there. Okay, there's another one in front of the church door here. There's four in front of the door. How many do I got here? Um, six, eight, ten. 
13 there, so I'm missing two. Okay. So let's just destroy the fences while I walk around and do take care of that. Where are the other two flowers? I know they're here. Because I actually did successfully do that the first time. So you want to plant all these flowers and then promptly blow them up. Gone to right. I thought I saw someone else just walking around here too. Now hopefully I'll be able to finish this. Do I need to do anything else? Um, yeah, there's something I'm missing here. Oop, stud there. What's the matter, kitty? Blow that guy up. Okay, what else am I missing here? This does not add any studs, it's just to blow things up, but you should have thermal detonators. And, um... Or self-destruct. Oh, this house over here. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm, I knew I... Person to kill! I knew I forgot something big over here. Yeah, I couldn't figure out what the hell I missed last time, because I only got like 950,000 the first time I tried this. And I could not for the life of me find what the heck I missed. No, I don't want to build the delivery truck yet. I don't have all that damn pieces. Oh wait, I do. Never mind. I know. Humor you to get the hell out of here. Fine, we'll do that. Okay, Tauntaun, do you make funny noises? Please give me the last studs I need. No! Okay, I'm missing something then. So let's go back to the level and find everything. I think that's more studs than I had the first run, so that's good. Let's deliberately attack everything. <clears throat> yeah, I built the miniature house, okay. This is the house you make from the trees, so to get everything inside. Yes. And this is an automatic door, so you have to wait to get in and out. Actually, can I blow up the stadium seats? No, I can't. Okay. Doesn't hurt to try. Of course, the bantas don't do anything. I wish you could make them faster, though. That would be pretty sweet. See, I've already taken care of the boat and the ducks. What am I missing? Shut up, back. Aha! That's not gonna give me everything now. Aha! Is that gonna give me everything? No! Oh, come on! I'm like 7,000 studs off. Not even. It's gonna be something small I missed. Get down, will you get down? Kitty is misbehaving again. Hmm. Nothing over here. Why did it give me another Jedi if I already had a ghost Jedi and a Sith? Now, unfortunately, you can't, like, explode the church or anything like that. So you can drive the fire truck around further. It kind of stops in front of the church, just to give you that little hint there. That you need the ladder to scare the bird off, or the chipmunk, or whatever the crap that is. Where are the 
last few studs. It's gonna be something. It's something small that I'm missing. And I have no idea what the frig it is. And I will cry if I can't find it. There's no more creatures or anything. I thought that was a guy for some reason. Get everything on the monorail, didn't I? Yes. Hmm. I destroy everything over here. Sorry, Tauntaun. What am I missing? I'm pretty sure I've blown everything I can up. Seven thousand, so it's something very, very small. Yeah, I can't blow up the lights. Can't blow that up anymore. Is nothing with the tractor. Hmm. It's gonna be something stupid like a bench or something, or. Playground. You don't get anything for game swing set. What is the matter, kitty cat? Yeah, see this thing walks slow. You're supposed to use this on place of things you're supposed to thermal detonate, but I, see, I never see a point in doing that. Forget my missing. Arrgh! Already taking care of that. Do I have to drive one of the cars through here or something? No, I'm surprised I actually got that. See, these are the flowers I actually planted. And I know I got all the ones in front of the, uh, the church. I saw the resulting explosion of studs from that. And yes, you can drive the vehicles in the water, or the um, the animals, but you can't get them back out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't thermal detonate these things. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just blew something up. Apparently you can blow the lights up then. All right. I don't remember ever reading about that. Apparently, you got to detonate it several times, though, because I did try that in the in the, in the first run, and nothing came of it. Okay, so that's what I was missing. And now we have all 160 gold bricks. Sweet. 